Good morning everybody. So I wanted to vlog today and bring you guys through like my normal, typical, everyday routine, kind of morning routine, daily routine, I don't know. I just wanted to bring the camera around with me this morning while I was waking up, while I was getting ready. So this morning I just made our bed, <laughs> like I always do. I put my hair up, got ready like for the day, clean the kitchen. I always love to start the morning by like cleaning the kitchen. That just makes us feel good. Like I like to have a clean space. We'll always like tidy up. I'm gonna do that next. I just like to tidy up in the morning. It takes literally five to 10 minutes, like right after I eat breakfast and take my vitamins, I'll just tidy up real quick. Sometimes I don't get to everything. Sometimes I don't always make the bed. Sometimes I don't always fold the blanket, whatever it might be. But typically since we both work at home, we thrive better and work better in a place that's picked up and tidy and clean. And oh my God, Joy can't keep her eyes open and it's so cute. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I just kind of want to show you guys like that I'm just like a normal person that tidies up in the morning just like you guys would and um, now I'm gonna do an at-home workout I was gonna go to Orange Theory this morning, but I was tired. I was tired last night I was tired the day before and I just knew that like I just know my body, you know So I knew that this morning if I went to Orange Theory like I would I wouldn't regret it But I would be like really tired tonight and tonight we're gonna go see my family So I didn't want to be tired for that. So I'm just gonna do an at-home workout, which is still really hard I still push myself and I've been doing this exact at-home workout every time I work out at home so I've done it quite a few times and um I just always like the moves. It's kind of like full body. I like start with legs and arms. I do a little bit of abs, a little bit of booty. Like I kind of do a little bit of everything and it's really fun. And like, go, it's like 45 minutes and it goes by really fast. Um, so I just set up right here in my living room and I usually turn on Bachelor in Paradise because I never watch it when it's on. So then like anytime I do an at-home workout, I always have something to watch. So I'll just go right here in my living room, turn on Bachelor in Paradise and do my at-home workout. If I don't do this workout, I like Tone It Up. I like Whitney Simmons workouts. I like Christina Capron's workouts. I'll just go to like whosoever Instagram or YouTube and just like follow something, you know, or just do whatever I want, really. Um, so yeah, or I've been doing yoga with Adrian, but yeah, on YouTube. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna do right now, and then um, I just kind of want to show you guys like what my typical work day looks like, which is including this. <laughs> like this is part of the work. I hope you guys like today's vlog, and let's go get it started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just head down in the basement. Down here is where I keep all of my at-home workout equipment, and this is where Brett works. Brett's not here right now. But I'm just gonna grab, <laughs> we have an extra mattress down here and then in this corner I have my trampoline. I have my yoga mat. I'm gonna use my dumbbells. Usually the trampoline is out because Brett uses it, but I don't know why he must have just put it back today. I have ankle weights back here and little sliding things. I'll show you guys all of it. And I have those little balls, but I'm not gonna use those today. Okay, I'm gonna get this all upstairs and then I'll show you the routine.
just finished my workout in Bachelor in Paradise and now I typically will go straight to my office. I love it in here. And today I'm gonna finish up filming my like office slash closet tour and that's gonna be going up today, the day I'm filming this vlog. Um, so if you guys wanna see like all of what's in my office and how I got it all put together, then go ahead and watch that video. I'll link it down below for you guys. But typically what I'll do is come in here um, like in the earlier morning like right now or even before I do my workout or whatever and I'll do like my emails or I'll finish up some editing or I'll just like get any um, Like video footage imported into my computer onto my external hard drive just like computer things um, And then once that stuff is all in a good place, it's usually like afternoon um, Then I will get ready and I'll film like if I have to film like an intro or an outro or if I'm filming a different video or like today I'm gonna film my closet thing so Usually I'll like work all morning and then um, have lunch and then after lunch I'll like get ready Put my makeup and my hair on depending what I'm filming or what I'm doing and then I will film So on days where I have a lot of computer work to do like today But I don't have to like edit or I have to listen to myself I like to listen to audiobooks So I just listen to audible and actually this portion of today's video is sponsored by audible I'm so thankful but I usually just listen to it on my phone. What I like about Audible is that you can listen to it anytime, anywhere, any audiobook. It's all available on like the app on your phone or you can listen to it on your computer. Especially when I go to the gym with Brett, I love to listen to audiobooks on my phone. That is like my one hour where I don't have anything else to think about. I can really like give myself that me time. And typically the books I've been downloading lately are like kind of more in the self-help, inspirational, like businessy type of books. So like, that just feels like when I listen to those books, it feels like I'm doing something for me. And that's exactly what I'm doing when I'm at the gym. So it's just like a good full hour of like, you know, doing things intentionally for me, like working out and like listening to these audio books. So anytime you can't read, but you want to, you can listen with Audible. So just for you guys, you can start listening with a 30 day free Audible trial. You get to choose one audiobook and two Audible originals all completely for free. Just go to audible.com slash Francesca or text Francesca to 500 500. So I am an Audible member. I've been an Audible member for like maybe two or three years or so. And I'm scrolling through my Audible library right now. And there are so many good books in here. Like I've been able to listen to and finish so many good books. But also something I love about Audible is that if you end up not liking one of the titles that you um, purchased or that you got with your credits from your membership, you can exchange them. So if you're ever not happy, you can just exchange whatever one you're not happy with and get something that you love. But Lately, I want to show you guys my recommendation. Where did it go? I'll look at my app um, I've been listening to a lot of um, Cameron Diaz. I loved her body book and then I've been listening to the longevity book I haven't been able to finish it yet, but I really love it and I just think her books and like the author she works with are just so smart and I just love listening to them um, But I just downloaded you are a badass at making money and you are a badass by Jen Sincero I've seen so many girls talk about this and, and guys, but um, a lot of my friends have been talking about those books lately, so I wanted to buy them. And I think Brett has that too. And I also got Whiskey in a Teacup by Reese Witherspoon. I have a bunch that I really, really need to get listening to. And I've been listening to Girls Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. I love her books. So yeah, I kind of need to <laughs> finish all those, but I like to just be like, I like to have options. So that's like something that I love about Audible is I can just scroll through the app pick whatever I'm in the mood for because sometimes I'm not I'm not in the mood for like self-help sometimes I just want to listen about fitness or like a funny story or like a celebrity's book you know like Reese Witherspoon like sometimes it really just depends like what mood I'm in what I'm doing stuff like that especially when I listen to Girl Stop Apologizing I just can so relate to it and it's so funny because literally I'll just be like driving and listening to it and I'm just dying laughing because I'm like oh my gosh that is so me like she makes so many good points so if you are looking for a really good book re recommendation I would say Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis is like one of my top favorites right now so if you guys want to download it you can just go to audible.com slash Francesca or text Francesca to 500 500 and you guys can start listening with a free 30-day trial you'll get one audiobook and two audible originals so I'm just gonna put my headphones in and get to work <laughs>
I think it might be a little chilly, yeah. What you doing? Vlogging. Oh, with your phone? Yeah. Come on, Joy, let's go. Whoa. Someone's already outside. Julian! Hi! Julian! Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Go Let's go this way. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You should have taken this one, Frank. This one's beautiful. It we starts, got a beautiful one. And it starts on the first try. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cozy. I brought the bug spray out. Okay, Julie. I bet you if you walk around out here, you'll find a ball. Whoa. Come on, Julie. Run, Julie! Run, Julie! Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god, what just stepped in there? What? Something just flew there, across there. Come on, go ahead. Like, I think it was a frog or something, yeah. Water. Michael, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what is he doing? What's daddy doing? He's ballooning. Yeah, what did really he do? He lost your ball. Oh, <laughs> it's coming back. Okay, here you go. Oh, you're so hard to do. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. It's like teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Did you get it? You're not all the stolen. You're all the stolen. You're all the stolen. You're all the stolen. You're all the stolen. you Michael kicked a ball and it went, Julian's ball, and it went into the pond by my parents' house. So we're, me and Brett are gonna try to go get it. Here. I'm on dog duty. Where is it? Right there. Oh, okay. It's than it looks. Yeah. I think you can get it if it doesn't fly away. You got it. You got it. You got it. You did it. You did it, Uncle Brett. <laughs> It's like it should be fake. What is it? Like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. 